Okay, this is test one, loading Apple's web page on the G3 iMac. Go. Loads up pretty quick. There's some odd things going on with the menu up here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let's see if I can focus here. These buttons aren't exactly laid out correctly when you're hovering over them. See what happens if I click on iTunes and iPod. Oh, it actually goes there. How about that? It loads up pages pretty quickly. Let's see if this little scroll bar works. It's Safari and OS X, so I'm not surprised that it works, but I'm surprised how fast the pages load up. So after all, it's a 400 megahertz G3 with only 256 megabytes of memory. And it thinks it's 1969 because it has a dead clock battery. So browsing around on a G3 is actually, so far, pretty doable. And some things are taking a bit slow to come up, but... Uh... Alright, let's check out Google Maps. Alright, the page is fully loaded. Move around here. It's a bit sluggish to move around, as I would have suspected. Yeah, this is workable, but. Uh, see it's not running too well. It's a little laggy when I'm clicking around and see how the satellite view loads up. Just a lot of things it's probably trying to draw at the same time. But it's working pretty well for a machine that's probably almost 10 years old. Let's try a site like YouTube. Let's uh, open up a trailer here. I'm going to probably not put this on HD because that would kill it. It's telling me to upgrade to Flash Player 10 for improved performance. Skipping already. It's not even playing. Yeah. It's a little slow. Very slow. As you could see, Flash doesn't run well on a G3 iMac. And then again, it doesn't really run well on a G4 iMac. We're a G5, and it runs on a Intel Mac okay. But as you can see, the video is very choppy, uh, skipping a few seconds at a time. It doesn't help that there are big Flash ads all around here. Um, let's see, we'll load up Wikipedia, which shouldn't have any issue at all. To save us some time. Oh, of course. There it is. No, I don't need to force quit you anymore. Still got the beach ball, but uh, at least Wikipedia seems to have loaded. And it dragged a bookmark out of there. No, no, no. Didn't want to do that. Undo. Whatever. Alright, let's just type in iMac here and browse around. These shouldn't be too difficult to load. They're just pretty basic pages. No fancy coding or anything like that. Yep, loads up fine. Scrolls around fine. As to be expected. Now let's go to a heavy site like uh, I don't know, Engadget or so. Taking a while to load. It's a lot of images and crap. Got a flash banner, have some, you know, menu buttons here. I do not think this is going to work too well. I'm scrolling, it does not want to scroll, there it goes. Page is not loaded up yet. It's very slow. We'll be trolling again. 
Oh, a slow script on Engadget.com is making Safari unresponsive. Do you want to continue? Well, yes. You know, we have to. Yes. We're beach balling again. I don't think that script is helping us. I would deem this site pretty unbrowsable on a on an iMac, an old machine, unless, you know, you were just using the RSS feed. I mean, now it's okay. I mean, but all these little flash ads and things on the side aren't helping. But it actually scrolls pretty well, but it's, it's just a bunch of articles. Click on the RSS button, see if that wants to work. Beach balling again. So far again. Just so you guys know, this is uh, Safari version 3.0.4. Alright, well now let's try to privates. Shouldn't have too much trouble loading with that. It's just, uh, just a pretty simple page here. No big flash content or anything. How about that? Load that pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh no, Savari cannot identify the website api.twitter.com. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that was weird. I did not click anywhere. Back. Okay, let's scroll down here. Pages show up fine. Things look good. Zombies, as usual. And yeah, things look pretty good. Looks like you could browse around. But... Alright, well I think I'm done in OS 10 here for web browsing. And I'll probably play around some more.